Okay, fantastic. So we're just about to head through into the tank room here. We just push through into here. This is where we store the larger specimens. What I'll actually do is, if you just wait up here, I'm just going to head down and switch the lights on so well, we can get into more detail. Take a look at this. Most of the room you'll see we've got a huge number of fish specimens. Okay. As I say, we've got a very large fish connect collection, probably one of the largest in the world. Over in the corner, we have some reptiles and there's some mammals over there too. So a lot of these jars are very, very big. The really big specimens, though, the ones even too big to fit in the jars, go in these big stainless steel tanks here. So these are um, where we store the very big ones. A lot of these have things like sharks in them, so we've got a lot of sharks. Okay. Over there, one of them has an orangutan in it, and there's another nice. one with just a whole Shetland pony, just fit nicely inside there. <laughs> <laughs> so as you, can, as you can imagine, quite, a, quite an interesting one to open up and have a look okay. at. Unfortunately, these are so heavy, we can't lift these up. We actually have to use these cranes to bring them along and uh, lift them off using the crane to, to raise them because they, they're sealed very tightly. Otherwise. Wonderful. Just to give you an idea about some of our jars here, this jar here, this is actually one of the largest jars in the whole collection. This is, uh, contains a fish in there. Do you recognise that fish as well? Not really. No. I, mean, I, I, I know the story, but you might ask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is called the coelacanth. So this is actually one of the largest fish um, in the collection that we have here that's whole still, mm -hmm. some of them have been broken up. But the interesting thing about this one is that until 1938, we actually thought this fish was extinct. extinct. We thought it had gone extinct 65 million years mm -hmm. ago. So what's, what's amazing about this, the story behind it, um, the scientist called Marjorie Courtney Latimer, she was in South Africa, and um, she was walking down by the docks one day and she saw that uh, one of the fishing trawlers had pulled this fish up out of the water and she thought it's a very odd looking specimen. She bought it, she took it back to the museum and along with the scientists she worked with, she was actually able to realise it was in fact this fish that we only had in fossils from about 65 million years ago. Living so fossil, basically. Quite amazing. Yeah, yeah um, the amazing thing about it is that it's barely changed in all that time. It's almost identical. Okay. Um, one of the interesting things about it, if you see across the top here, the tail, mm -hmm. it looks like it's damaged. That's not because we're bad at our jobs. That's, um, we take a lot of DNA samples from this oh, fish. Okay. And the reason for that is, do you see it's got these fins here, the quite stubby fins? That's right. Those are what's known as lo what are known as lobe fins, sorry. Mm -hmm. And they're actually quite different to the other sort of fins you see in here. Because this fish is more closely related to us than it is to any of the other fish in this room oh. here. Okay. The bone structure of those fins is almost identical to the bone structures in our hands. Limbs, yeah. Okay. So it's actually kind of the first signs of limb development. So they're considered quite important in that evolution of life living in the ocean and life starting to move onto land. Um, so we take a lot of DNA samples from the fish to look at the genetic code. We've actually identified the code for limb development from this fish. So Wonderful. Quite okay. important. Thank you. Uh, if we carry on, look at the main attraction. Can't of course. We, can't we miss that in here? She's, uh, this is Archie. She's our giant squid. Uh, she's an amazing specimen. She actually came to us. She came to us in 2005, but she was actually caught in 2004. The reason we didn't get her for a while is because she was frozen. Uh -huh. And uh, we actually needed the time to prepare the space for her to put her into it. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, she's quite an incredible specimen. She is um, 8.62 metres long altogether. It's pretty she long. She has um, eight arms up here. These are the shorter ones. The arms are the two tentacles and the ones that stretch all the way down there. She's got uh, blue blood. She's mm -hmm. got three hearts. Well, uh, sh her brain, which is located about there in her head, is the shape of a donut. So it's got a little <laughs> hole in the middle. And the reason for that is the esophagus runs right through, through the, the, middle, brain. the okay. middle of the wow. brain because it has to get up here to the, um, to the mantle. Mm -hmm. So if she swallows anything too big, it can actually lodge in a brain and kill her. <laughs> so yeah, she's Interesting. Okay. Um, if we have a look there, that thing, it looks like it should be the eye. Uh -huh. One of the eyes is actually on top, that kind of circle oh, yeah, bit you fun. see there, and the other one's underneath on mm -hmm. the opposite side. That thing that you can see there is actually called the siphon. Mm -hmm. And what, what she would do is draw water up into the mantle here and then push it out of the siphon like a jet. So essentially they travel around by jet propulsion, by sort of blasting okay. the water in. 
the eye, unfortunately, the eye has collapsed because it's, a, a, it's a, the wrong type of pressure because they're so adaptive for those okay. deep pressures okay. in the ocean. But the eye, when it's alive, is about the size of a bowling ball. So it's the okay. second biggest eye in the world. It's What's amazing. the bus biggest? I will talk about that in just a minute. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> okay. um, uh, also, I should say, what she stores in, unlike everything else in the room here, mm -hmm. it's not alcohol. This is actually something called formosaline. Uh -huh. which is a mixture of formaldehyde and salt water. And the reason we do that, it's a slightly better consistency. Mm -hmm. As you can see, she's deflated a little bit over yes. time. If she was in alcohol, she'd be a lot flatter now. So the form of is quite good for preserving her. Unfortunately, it does destroy all of the DNA. Mm -hmm. We knew that was going to happen though, so we just cut off a few bits and chuck them in alcohol <laughs> separately. <laughs> Fair enough. So we still do have access to the DNA. But it's up the video. Okay. Otherwise, I won't be able to upload all of it. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. That's all right, no worries. Um, if, we just, if we just have a look oh, here. Sorry. Oh, sorry. No, sorry, sorry. Okay. 